while there'll be a lot of noise in this one so but at least like i expect i got like a good 12 seconds of like noise recording and whatever but hey we're back another, another sunday another day say hello and welcome back to a personal code of conduct i'll be doing like little pockets of noise in my editing to see if i can remove this this week is a filler episode another filler episode i have nothing to say the entire point of this whole podcast is like me deciding how i'm going to exist as a human being and i was wondering if i talk about the existence but like that's all i do i have, i only ever talk about existence and i'm like i'll figure it out man i'll figure it out man but we'll be fine we'll be fucking fine everything will be fine i'm terrified that me being an asshole is what it called no not me being an asshole i'm terrified that me trying to prevent being an asshole is causing me to get work done like i don't want to just have a conversation with somebody and be like oh no i don't like this kind of thing or like don't say these kind of things around me like it sounds very controlling and fucking weird and annoying it's just i don't like it it's strange like but like in this kind of situation i don't i find myself not wanting to be an asshole not wanting to decide that things will go on a particular way and i feel like i get walked over so like how do you decide how do you go the middle line because i remember having this random conversation like i didn't even mean like i don't remember it because i'm overthinking it i didn't feel like it became bad for life or anything because i always say good things about people whether they are there or not but i don't think it was more complex when i i was very honest with the fact that something was more complex so the decision to simplify it and simplifying things was a question of how you're going to get the data how you're going to get the data structure how you're going to look at the totality what direction is it going to be and all that kind of thing oh fuck i don't know like this is the filler episode but i'll figure something out maybe it turns like a reaction into an audio i cannot do the whole thing i did with rulers of cgp play and like mashing things together because that one i actually prepared for it and i was so interested in, like whistling and speaking and all this stuff but this one i'm not prepared so <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i'm going to talk about something when i figure out what to talk about because i've just been a mess of fan fiction sleeping um uber traffic working around I cannot wait for January. I'm very certain that January will on like you know, February, the beginning of February will be like my season two. I'll probably be able to afford better equipment then. Moved out from this very loud area because okay, you know when you, like I'm facing a road, a busy road, so obviously it's going to be dramatic and loud. I like it. It's I'm going to move out and have my own like place place and not have a roommate or something like a place place which is going to be fucking awesome and that will continue to exist i don't even know what i'm going to talk about so this three minutes of random intro and me trying to extend the time to at least 20 minutes or 30 we'll figure it out so that's the intro about delusions of grandeur i don't know if it's like a mental thing okay i think it probably is i'm going to like google it and be serious because i don't know if i have it because ever since i was a child i was i don't know it's like wanting to be special that i think that is like a mild form of a delusion of grandeur or something and i think I, that's not even the correct term delusions of grandeur is an actual serious mental issue this is like maybe realizing you're not special but deciding you want to be anyway but like when you live in a certain world like when you live in the whole world and people are just existing and you decide that, okay this you want this to be you want this to be perfect you want to be this to be you you want everything to be about you but it's never going to be a, about you there's an entire world there's an entire thing that is going on and i think okay i think as from next week i'm going to have a narrative i don't know like a proper narrative it's not just it's like me like gaining lessons from things rather than me just like rambling on and having a story to go about because I don't know there's something i'd go around i don't know if it's just in my head but i'm just not that likable i don't think anybody would go out of the, except like my mother or my and my sister but i don't think anybody would go out of their way to decide that they want to call me or they want to talk to me or they just they just want to know how i'm doing how i'm fine like i, I don't think i'm like that likable or something is it that like i'm i'm a source of extreme annoyance to somebody or maybe that thing is only my because I'm literally thinking of an incident that happened in a meeting where I, pe- I, I, I think I wasn't trying to shoot somebody down. I was trying to defend myself. That, but then again, I was also not trying to bring up things that ours was more complex or theirs was more complex or anything. Because ours truly is very complex with a lot of like bonds and issues and situation. 
at situations but i don't know it just came out wrong i sounded like a bad belly i sounded like a hater but i'm not a hater i make a point to see the awesome things in whatever people are saying and the fact that i don't know if i'm being gaslit or i just don't like this human being but like i'm going to be with this human being for a long time so i without like it being my job oh fuck don't tell me i spoke to my belt ah how who does the heart my only belt oh yes i have a dress to iron dress I'm supposed to wear with this belt but well, not anymore because your belt is destroyed anyways I felt like I was being a bad belly now like there has been light throughout the day no more light and I didn't chat but like <laughs> she will live in darkness and this laptop is about to go off oh, I'll use up this laptop to charge my phone as well I don't know it'll be fine <laughs> oh my god sometimes you sit down you just like decide okay what are you up to what are you going to do with your life like i don't know it's like this is going to be very vloggy so like i have not been able to see a bunch of stuff because i've been like by car it has no longer been a bus like new characters walking on the road and everything and i've been trying to say that oh i'm getting back into working out and getting back into like because i have lost my abs let me say because before i was like oh i'm losing my abs I'm losing. No, no 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 they're gone they're gone i'm still not i'm actually much skinnier but i think my skinniness is as a result of loss of muscle mass rather than but like i want to be able to jump high i want to be able to go fast i want to be able to like i, w- I want to be healthy so it's not really about aesthetics for me because i want to be fast like i'm going to really like that like buy like track clothing and run on one end of the field 100 meters super fast you know what stuff you do maybe get like funny headphones like and just run and move it'd be so nice to fast music to your imagination and people won't look at you when I did some people I really like having my room to myself even though like my room is a physical person but like I said I'm easy to bully on a one to one person basis I can't believe I'm not close enough to the mic so these peaks are not even high but like as an individual that it's easy to bully or like on a one to one person basis you find out that you don't know your tongue is just tied because you know you should defend yourself you know you should be like this irritates me but you don't want to be an asshole and you're sitting down there in fucking shock that how can people say things that are obviously inconvenient that they can live without that they can compromise and decide not to just wake up and decide not to compromise with somebody that who's obviously kind welcoming and willing to compromise with them like how can people just do that like decide that oh yeah i woke up this morning and i'm going to be an asshole how can people fucking do that well people can and they really okay hello to non-directional subject matter again this is going to be cutting chappy moving all the other person i think i'm just going to get some similes and like just like put random sounds and music or whatever this, i feel very disappointed in myself with all the nonsense that came to come and do today because like i really don't have anything to say oh yeah 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 let me just find some tacky shitty thing about the existence of like just pretend this week this is just me keeping a commitment to do something every week and decide that i'm going to do it i'm not excited about any particular week. like this week has just been like i won't call it a good kind of boring i've just been going through the motions of life like what is the purpose like i i know i'm just saying like up and down but like this is just a fun fun episode like a fun quiet rambly episode where i don't say anything in particular and i'm just like okay i have nothing to do whatever whatever but i don't know it feels this entire podcast thing is just very calming and it's nice in the evening when you really have nothing to do you have nothing to offer and you just like want to let loose everybody should have like a, an internet audio blog because this is what basically this is it's like it's not in- there's it's not intended to make money i don't intend to be famous for if I intended to be famous, I'd have a proper subject matter, which I hope. Okay, I started out like with that way, like thinking that oh, I was going to talk about philosophy and I was going to talk about like a bunch of stupid shit, and in the end, <laughs> it just ended up me talking shit and being like a weird, depressed human being and trying to go on for hours and all those kind of situations. But like now, it's just there. So it's what next? Like the thing is, I'm not currently thinking about what next. I'm thinking about a task that I have to complete have to do this in the next few years like what next i remember having this entire conversation okay there wasn't a conversation it was a random youtube video and this person was talking about like what next like 
once you get stability what next like i'm turning 24 in two months time and obviously like i'm like six months i'm six months younger than okay like on average like five months younger than most people in my class some people are a year younger than most people in their class so like it's not that much but like i'm just thinking like ah fuck those people that are a year younger are so lucky but like i'm six months younger than so like most of the people i know are 24 already but my question is now what am i now going to do thinking like what am i going to do <laughs> what's the next thing like now that i'm 24 like i don't it's not it's not six years to 30 it's no more like seven years to 30 and i expect to be a full-grown adult that knows what she wants to do by fucking 30 which i may not be oh fuck this audio is just everywhere and it's going to be terrible but like there'll be that that'll be fine I don't know where I'm going to. Okay, I know where I'm going to, but like, and I enjoy the work I do. I actually really do enjoy the work I do. But like, the question is, okay, why do I keep, keep on saying, but like, at least it's better than, and the girl was not like, I was like, I don't think. <laughs> Interdiction, I'm high on dairy and golden morn. No, seriously, that's all I've had. Okay, not all I've had. I, I'm terrified that maybe I'm binging today. I just felt very peckish and I ate what I was supposed to eat for an entire week this like evening. I ate like a bunch of like cereal and a lot of milk, way more milk than I should be taking with my acne and, and like low milk tolerance. But like, whatever, I was feeling peckish and I had macaroni, I had spaghetti, I had like a lot of food like this Sunday. And I, I don't know how to feel about that. But, It'll be fine. I'm not going to blow up into a million oblivion. I managed to exercise a little, tiny little bit this morning. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be fine. Like, I want to take a video of my commutes and just, like, have a voiceover. It. Like, maybe I'm going to finally be taking bus. Ah, but it's not going to be, like, um, PRT bus. It's, it's a freaking downfall. So I can't put my phone out on the window. But I feel like I should actually do that like i have the footage put your phone on but then you cannot make videos and put it in like in what it called because i want to read novels and read questionable things like while the video is because i just want to like view like stuff and voice about like my dead ass city and just vlog <laughs> i don't know but this is like an audio blog and i don't want myself to show just like video of my city being my city and just existing and People going to places and things being fine. I don't know. You don't have to say you love me. You're mine. Just let me adore you. This reminds me of a period Iris again, where like um Krill, the alien who's like the sort of main character and like obviously like the leading man is like the stereotypical Monday from Star Trek and I think is that there's nothing wrong with being a stereotype because in a sense you are every writer especially when they're writing fantastical things writes kind of like a self insert of people they know and people they love unless they want to write a jarring story that's when they remember that the world can be diverse but like every writer seems to like once it's a happy action pack it's normal that's the one thing is I keep saying that I want to create that's my ambition with arts like whether it's writing or whatever like my people are so fucking cool and i want to create art that represents that's like fantasy but my brain is just a freaking dud like i can appreciate okay i'm actually pretty awesome but like i can appreciate art and fantasy and, and sci-fi and everything but like to create is difficult i'm still on my drawing journey like i okay i have kind of i, I don't know it's like i'm trying to get a proper curriculum but like god i don't want to draw circles and shading i understand the concept it's just that my hand doesn't want to start and i don't have time to practice okay that's a lie i have time practice like it's just not something and i'm trying to get my out oh my god this is such a dramatic something like anyways something fun something philosophical oh yeah i've been looking at this one random chick like people youtube is recommending like people that i'd like because i feel they said they said it's very like, educated black dramatic think she's philosophical um dramatic so like they're 
they are what they call it. They are presenting with the likes of Kelly Stamps and Khadija and Bodwe and um, some chick named Kidology or Kikudi, me Mosha. But like people make a decision on what they want to do in life and like decide they want to like they want to have opinions. <laughs> and I'm just like about like that opinion thing. Like even though I like to watch like. I think this is just going to lead to a very important like aspect of my thought process. Like, I try to avoid things because I'm afraid I will absorb them unconsciously. Like, or like I would, I don't know. I think the whole like how movies are a portrayal of reality. I don't want to expose myself to certain stereotypes. I think because I feel like I would unconsciously internalize it and just act it out. I don't know. I don't. I just don't want to. And in that kind of situation, I find myself avoiding a lot of movies, a lot of books, a lot of like fun, dramatic things because I don't know, it just makes me cringe in like second-hand embarrassment. Like, I don't know, not really even second-hand, just cringe at the stupidity of it. I wouldn't call it stupidity because I feel something that is stupid is questionable. Like, unless it's going to cause a death, like, obviously, it was going to cause a death and not save anybody. Something that is stupid is questionable. Like the definition of what's considered cringy. I won't even because I know I've said this several times. Like cringe is something that we use to take the fun out of each other. It's not like something real or something dramatic or something worse. It's just we're trying to make each other miserable here. <laughs> oh fuck, my hair is already scattered. This is just like imagine this as like something like super cuts all over the place and it's not super cut, it's just like dials the brain just jumping up around the place and she's just like letting her mouth move without thinking without anything oh yeah this was supposed to be about my art like oh god i want to have a, a reference picture i want to have it ex- you know i want okay i think there's a character there's somebody who draws like that's ck or chop tak god like i want to draw people like that but people i know and i want to draw them in fantastical settings and sexy I'm lazy. I want to. I'm supposed to learn anatomy, but like it's hard. I don't want to. But like I have to. So why is this thing like showing me high stuff? Like why the fuck is it showing me high stuff now? Is it that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I've just been dramatic. I was looking at the icon situation. I was like, imagine me as your random talkative friend rambling off to you about nothing in particular just wanting to have the conversation going hates the deafening silence and doesn't have music on hand to ignore you not like that person that is optionally um optionally extroverted just because there's no music around them i uh, i'm that person <laughs> oh my god i do really enjoy being at home it's like let's just branch off into loneliness like i i don't know if i feel blue. it's because i forget to no, that it doesn't mean I don't love you. I just forget, man. I forgot. I really did forget to call. It's just that if I don't know, I feel like I'm falling into the young people trap, like where people were only your friends because you saw them every day, and I'm like, that is fucking stupid and cringe. That doesn't make any sense. Does it? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, I was trying to sound like this one dude that was doing a John Mulaney impression. I don't get, I can't even say it. Like, people, I can't even do any of this shit. It's like, whatever. Let's continue this random ass conversation with another decent person. So I was trying to be TMI about this whole, like, art thing. But, like, people have vibes. Like, people have energy. Like, it's one to see, but your hand doesn't cooperate. Your patience doesn't work. Like, Math and data science is so much easier than drawing. Maybe because I've always been good at math. Yeah. It's never been difficult because the patterns are there. Like with something that is very man-made, with systems that that's why I'm I'm still aggressively looking for a non-worthy like math isn't worthy no, uh, wordy. It's like very direct on what it's about, what the entire content is, like the directions are supposed to be. Yeah, technically there are no words. But like when somebody is trying to describe arts to you, they are very like too much English. Even though English is very ironic, because I often break down my mask into English that I can read text I wrote and try to improve my Android, which is 
people there have met somebody that's feeling something in English. I'm like, too wordy! Things, I want to be the one to translate it to English. Show me the steps it's gone. Like, in sections, I'm not interested in watching videos. Show me the steps in text. Like, in literal, like, form. Like, in hand-drawn form. I will replicate it, then translate it to English. The same way I do it with my mouth. If somebody can find a, a teacher like that or an internet personality that teaches like that or something, I would be grateful. But like, let me just show you my, my thing about, like, imagine Chong Tak style. I don't think anybody knows Chong Tak style, but if, like, if you listen to this episode and you get to this point of me, like, oh yeah, talking to this point and like, having nothing to say in your rambly points, and you get to this point and you have to, like, you want to go with Chong Tak, I think she does, like, questionable manga but like her independent art style i don't i'm just calling her her because i don't know the general chontax like, chontax like style is just very cool like i don't know the way she draws dudes are awesome and i'm just like imagine that style to draw women too oh no oh no oh no and i'm like i want inspiration from that style and i feel like i'm going to get there eventually like, i'm going to get good at like referencing thing is i don't even want to i just want like, but this is about posing and whatever like because right now my plan and it has actually kind of worked is to take a picture take a reference art that i like and simplify the picture into that reference artist style like i know the basic form of that person so it's going to look at that person then i take a semi-realistic so like where i see shadows how did this person represent their shadows where i see um lines how do where i see the eyes how does this person represent their eyes and i'm able to simplify like a drawing in accordance to somebody else's art and that is so fucking cool for the most part now i because like working with like painting and stuff it's like, working perfect for me with like people who use ink and values and lines but shading is so hard shading is so hard oh my god shading is so hard i don't know why i use that voice when i was this is what that is completely about subconscious um absorption of media in your head i don't know it's dramatic but yeah you've listened to me ramble i'm tired of rambling i think 23 minutes is enough for like a nonsense like podcast that doesn't really have any plots i'm okay I, seriously next week i will have something to talk about like i will i have to it's sunday but this is a promise i've made to myself and it has been a personal code of conduct have a productive day so i think i should put like back music after i've done this thing whatever music you see shall I like it bye bye i wish that you and i lived in sims we could build a house and plant some flowers and have kids But we're both at some trashy Halloween party downtown And I'll probably never see you again I wish that we lived on a VHS I'd erase the things I said and that I'll probably say again Hit rewind on all the times I got lost in my head But I guess I'll never see you again I'll probably never see you again Ooh, goddamn I wish we would've met on another night, baby Maybe then I wouldn't have let you leave me Yeah, ooh, goddamn I wish we would've met on another night, baby In another life, baby To impress you with some bullshit about Monet At least I wouldn't be too drunk to stay And I wouldn't let you slip away